cards. I'm thinking about having a card game if you fancy sitting down. We'll see if we can think of a game to play. Poker or something? I don't think you want to play with these cards, though, quite do you. Ah, extraordinary. Oh, yes, well, can't use that one. What about this? Oh, yes, it's my turn to deal, of course. Yes, I'm just turning it on. Now, where's the shuffler? <laughs> oh, yes, cards, 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 but if they're very unusual cards, I like them. Now, if you're in the Wild West, you've got to be careful about cards. This is a Texan deck, made of nice leather, good quality. But um, they've been used by a game of poker players who ended up in a shootout. And there's the result, I'm afraid. Oh, yes, I mean, they look, they look as though they're proper cards, but they've all got bullet holes in them to the law and burn marks where the bullet's gone through. Oh my goodness. Lovely idea though, isn't it? To have a detection deck where all the cards are holed, each with three bullet holes right the way through. You could still use them actually. <laughs> this is a contrast of Japanese deck with contravision it's called. These are superb because you see nothing but black spots, so each of them you can't read what the car is. But turn over and you can see exactly what they are. Look at that. Exactly what they are. Exactly what they are. And right the way through to the end of the deck it goes. Extraordinary. Very clear, and yet that side is completely visible. So contravision makes for a very, very nice deck of cards. Woo! These are very odd shaped ones, like teardrops almost. But the artwork on it is extraordinary. So let me just show you the artwork of it. Look at these, aren't they weird? It's the, it's the court cards I like, look at that. Extraordinary idea to have a kings and jacks like that shape there. And they do fan, sort of in the, in the hand, with those the jokers, but fan like that way, or the fan like that it might be, better to hold it like that. But what a lovely shapes and artwork they do to make it. Very entertaining. But whether they're easy to put together again afterwards, I'm not too sure about. Well, there we are. And what's this deck here? This is. Well, this is designed by 52 different artists, so each of them was commissioned to do a particular card. Um, and on the back says the usual, uh, they can't be read, so they're completely impersonal. But on the back front, each artist spends, you know, a day or two actually designing a card. That's obviously an ace of spades, which is easy, but look at that one there. How could you possibly tell that was um, a spade by looking at all the words. There's a sp word spade in yellow there, and there's a two down there. That's obviously a three, when it's that way around, yes. And the four, I don't know where they I find a four. I think it's four spades somewhere or other, but it's, oh yes, well, the four spades along there, five spades of the digits. So every one is a real puzzle. If you're playing a game of snap, it'd be impossible. You've got to spend about 10 minutes looking at each card to decide what the value is. Just a few of them are very obvious, and others are extremely unobvious, sixes and so on. So, an extraordinary deck of cards, but all you can do is admire the artwork, I suppose. They can't really be played with any, anything like a game of snap would be so impossible. <laughs> lovely idea, though, lovely idea, and it's ideas I'm looking for all the time. This is um, an extraordinary high-tech deck for nerds who are into computers, because they've got the usual court cards, but look how they've been distorted to allow for the typical graphics you get in computers. Extraordinary idea, these. Very, very interesting artwork to make them look um, familiar to, to, to people play with around with computers a lot. For them, that's a deck of cards to have, I suppose. Woof. The last one is a card trick, which I find very charming. I can show it to many people. I ask them to take a little um, clothes peg and put it on the queen like that. That's easy. It's a middle card here between two black cards either side. So I'll make it a little bit harder for you and just turn it over like that. And then ask them to put it where the queen is. Well, it's going to be in the middle again, so put it that way. Oh, no, it's not. Why is that? Oh, well, it's the way the cards have been made. <laughs> Very little one to finish off with. Let's see if we can find some more of these extraordinary playing cards.